All right, we are returning to this wonderful diagram of a flowering plant in order to distinguish between pollination, fertilization, and seed dispersal. So first, the pollen, which is made over here in the anther, needs to find a way into the stigma, which traps the pollen. So in order for this to happen, generally, these petals over here will attract the animals, such as the bees, which come, take some of this pollen, carry it to another plant, and drop it over here in the stigma. And that is pollination. Fertilization happens after the cells that are inside of the pollen germinate and become sperm cells which then travel through the pistil into the ovary for fertilization. And after this process takes place, the seeds come about and need to be dispersed for the process to begin again. This, hence, is seed dispersal. Seed dispersal can happen in many ways, such as the dandelions that you see, the white puffy ones, when the wind blows, it carries the seeds throughout the region. Or some of the seeds have mechanisms that latch onto the animals when the animals walk by. So the animals carry the seeds until they fall off. And that concludes the differences between pollination, fertilization, and dispersal of seeds.